Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video, we will learn about data filters and sorting. So let's get start. I have a data set of sales data and uh, let's say how filters come handy. And the filters also depend that which kind of a column we are filtering. Either it's a, it contains some textual values or it contains numbers or dates, okay? So for applying a filter on a data set, first we are required to select the entire data set. So I have selected the entire data set and I will go to the data tab. And here in the sort and filter group, you will find a filter option. So click on filter. As soon as you click on filter, uh, you will observe that each of the header contains a small arrow button on the right side. It's a basically a drop down for a filter. And from here, you can open this, click on this and open the filter menu. So from here you can also do sorting like a to z and z to a based on textual values like on customer name you can sort it by a to z and z to a okay so for example i do z to a so it it has entire data has been sorted okay again i will go for a to z it has been sorted right and uh, next thing is that if i open this drop down menu on a date so you can see that now it's oldest to newest and newest to oldest right you can also sort by color as well so if you have some uh, cells which contains color for example this yellow color and you want to be color sort by color so now it's showing me the yellow color and i can sort it by this level as well right so different columns depends on the nature of data type it will show you some sorting options okay you can also filter that as well what is filter is is for example you don't want to see uh, salman shah and shahid raza in this data so you can just uncheck and it will now be not shown in the data set even for example if you don't want to see the region so just uncheck for example north re north region so i will okay and now the north has been hidden here right uh, once you go back again and you can just check mark and it will be visible right okay then the next part is that uh, this was the sorting of vertical data set now for example in the next example we have two rows and we have month wise amount now for example if i want to sort this report which is from jan to december i want december to jan so that can be very tricky for example if i select this data and if i go to sort and filter and uh, if i sort from a to z or z to a so definitely might be april will come first because it start from a then august right so that will be wrong because our calendar is in a chronological order so we make a mistake if we do this kind of a sorting so what we can do is uh, we will go to the custom sort and here first in the options button we will select left to right okay because we don't want to sort top to bottom we want left to right why left to right because we want to switch the entire report from jan to december instead of jan to december december to jan okay so we have selected left to right press okay and then sort raw number three because our raw number three uh, currently contains these name of the months and instead of order from a to z and z to a we will click on custom list and here we will select the short format of each of the month because i have written every month in three alphabets right so if you are writ written the months as a full form you will select this particular category in the custom list whereas i have in my case it is from uh, the short formats so i will press ok and now in in the order you can see there are two lists have been enabled first is from jan to december and the second one is december to jan so i will select december to jan and press ok so very quickly within few seconds your report has been shifted from december to jan right so this was another technique when you want to do custom sorting based on uh, left to right and chronological order next another part of uh, sorting is uh, again creating a custom list now for example we have a list of medals uh, where we have three different kind of medals gold silver and bronze but if i select this column and if i say that okay i want to sort from a to z or z to a for example from this area so it will either comes from a to z it bronze will come first instead of gold and then gold will be in the middle so this is not correct we want 
this data to be sorted in a chronological order rather than the alphabetical order. So for these kind of things, we can create and uh, save our own custom list and then we can sort accordingly. So for doing that, we will click on file tab and go to options at the bottom left side. Uh, the Excel option window will open and then click on advance and scroll down and till the end. Now you will see a button edit custom list. Now we will create a custom list here. So for example, if we put, if we want to put the gold at the first, we will write gold, then comma space. Then second is for the silver comma space and then bronze. Okay. And we will click on the add button so that this list should be added in the custom list area and press OK and again OK. Now select this data and go to the custom sorting and where in the order click on custom sort and now you, you have a list. So just click on this list press OK. So now you have a two kind of list uh, gold silver bronze or bronze silver gold. So we want gold to be a pair first silver in the middle and then bronze. So I will select this order list which is the chronological order customized list by the user and I will press OK. So now you can see that we have gold first, silver on the second and bronze at the third. So this is how a user can create chronological order sorting things uh, in the custom list area, right? And this was the technique from left to right and we have discussed how to apply the data filters and sorting based on various kind of for the dates and for the textual values as well. One more thing which I want to include is whenever you want to filter dates, so you have also an option called date filters where uh, this is uh, all the volatile fields available. For example, if you have uh, some data which belongs to the tomorrow report, uh, tomorrow records. So you can click on tomorrow only it will uh, select tomorrow. Yani, tomorrow next day records okay if you have if you want to filter today records you can just click on today if you want to filter uh, for example uh, last month records, so you can just click on last month so these are all volatile now how they are volatile because uh, based on your system current date and time uh, they they change right and if you want to define some something customized you can just click on custom filter at the bottom and you can select the criterias accordingly so there are a lot of criterias you can experiment on remember that the date which you define should be in a slash format like this okay so this was for the date filters for example if you open a column which contains some text so you then you have some text filters and you have the some criterias like equals does not e equals contain does not contains and so many more and if you go to custom again you have a choice various choices so this is all about in this video about filterings data filterings and sorting and in next coming modules when we have a case study you will get explored to the most advanced features of this particular excel thank you